So I think I'm gonna actually start right there. I had, there's actually quite a bit of bank fishing here. Um, so I'm pretty excited about this. I've kind of fallen into the Guggen guys, like watching their stuff. I mean, they're pretty funny. And they catch fish and pretty entertaining. So I guess that's uh, kind of what we all, all the YouTubers hope to be. Uh, but yeah, a little bass fishing for this free for all Friday. Um, let's take a look and see what my, my rigging is or setup, tackle, whatever you want to call it. May not have that many, uh, forward facing shots. Uh, I forgot my tripod at home. <laughs> so, uh... So I'm going to try to do this. So this video is going to be all kinds of whack. Uh, so not only did I forget my tripod at home, I also just now realized how windy it was. So the audio is probably going to be bad on this one as well. Just be patient, y'all. I'm getting better at this. Uh, so I guess we'll start with this since it's so. Again, I tried the mystery tackle box. This is the pro. I'll actually leave a link in the description of how you can get ten dollars off your first box. Um, so if you haven't seen these before, they give you like uh, so many. I think this one is forty forty dollars worth. Of stuff so and it'll give you a little thing actually what's inside so i got the bag the bagley uh spin r shad so that's that then i got the booyah prank that's that little thing right there and i got the cast cowboy topwater and i got some carl's amazing jigs I got this jig. I'm not sure how many ounces that is. If I had to guess, it's probably a, probably a half ounce. I don't know. So I got that, and I got some hooks. I got a sticker there, uh, and it gives you some books and stuff like welcome aboard and tips and tricks, stuff like that. But I'm not really worried about that at the moment. I just want. So I got my hooks. And I'm just going to take the packaging out because it just makes probably not these. I'll leave that. Uh, so that, I'll leave those. I don't even know if I'll use these today, but I'll, I'll at least put them in there. Plenty of topwaters. I do like top. I have bass fished top water a little bit, and it's pretty pretty fine. Uh, so I got that stuff. And then I didn't realize this when I order the box that you can add more stuff to the box and not have to pay extra shipping um so i kind of realized that late in the game but dix is doing this really cool thing that if you that if you have a your local store we'll do a curbside pickup and that's kind of what the clip of the stuff clip that you saw at the beginning of the the episode show whatever that's kind of what that was um but they'll deliver it to your door no cost in shipping so i got some weights got some guggen baits i wanted to try that i got some line i've got a reel i need to spool up so i can probably leave that here and you know what i'm gonna whoa not making my trash go everywhere i don't know about you all but uh here in kentucky they're now doing a mandated face mask order and I'm just going to say this that I am not too happy about that make sure my truck is locked Oh, he's gonna let me let me go. Over. 
stack cone. I've never actually fished a right here. All right, there's a Guggen bait too. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try that. First thoughts, this rod's not, rod's not heavy enough. And yes, I know you're, I guess you're technically supposed to flip it, but. There's like a little edge right here that people's walked it so much. It's amazing. I don't think there's anything up here that's shallow. I have no idea what I'm doing. <clears throat> Not the slightest clue. I don't know what a fish feels like. Imagine it's like any other bite, right? Just like it starts swimming off, gets heavy. What's up, guys? Y'all hanging out? Let's see what the, what the mystery tackle box has that I can try. Uh, this little thing actually looks pretty good. propeller on the back of it. I thought try it by these weeds wouldn't be a bad idea.
I don't think it's spinning. Why isn't it spinning? It's free. See it now, it's working. I don't think I was reeling fast enough. Well, that helped zero. Rats have chewed on the handle. Oh, gold. Be careful that things balsa. Don't want to break it. <clears throat> well, quick little update. I I got skunk on that one, y'all. I don't know. Maybe I'm not cut out for bass fishing. Maybe it's better I just stay trying to musky fish. One of these going to try it though. I bought all this junk. Now <laughs> I got to try it to at least say I did. And wow, it's really hot in here. Uh, so I'm going to go try a little farm type pond. Uh, this was the lake and to be honest, like I've never really caught anything. I've caught some out of here. I think it's been later in the year, but I'm going to go try another farm pond little deal. And I don't know after that, if, if I don't do any good, they might have to just chalk it up to a loss you know sometimes you win some you lose some so let's go see what will happen so this place i'm going i just realized is on a wildlife management area and we're right in the smack dab middle of turkey season spring turkey season here in kentucky and i've heard rumors of like this place like going to walmart um like there's that many people out there so i'm gonna try it now if people are posted up with guns and i'm out in the middle of a field fishing this pond uh you better bet your boy ain't gonna be sticking around there long so i initially pulled in here and i was like oh it's there's no one in here i was wrong there's at least three vehicles that i can see I think I'm still gonna try it though. Surely to goodness, I won't get shot. I hope not. Actually, I like them. Just make it. Oh, oh, okay. They might. They might be fishing. No, but I. I pulled around here and can see the little. Uh, pond. There's actually a few people here. No big deal. If they're fishing. It's probably safe enough for me to go fishing too. Just gotta stay six feet apart, y'all. Ooh, it's a little muddy here. Coffee. Well, I guess that's a good sign. People are maybe catching. Oh my word! I think everybody's here. I like for the brush down. Maybe trying to get right here. That's a little bit. Water does look a little better right here.
Two frog hunting on the channel one day. Oh, that would be so awesome. I know you can go over there too. I do like that they've cut all this brush out of the way. I came up here one time to duck hunt. And like all this right here was brush. So they've drained it not drained it what am i thinking they uh um god there's all kinds of frogs in here anyways um they cut all the brush out of the way See if I can get them to bite. The goose on the nest. I don't want to get too close. Spooker off of it. She ain't moving. That's right. She stay dedicated. Well, what did we learn today? Bass fishing's a little harder than what I thought it would be. Um, I mean, I guess I'm doing everything right. And I know sometimes bank fishing can be hard. Heck, for that matter, even fishing out of a boat can be hard. But it was a bad day, I don't know. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'm on. I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, probably need to not buy more care until I can start catching them. But that's gonna do it for today. This time on Free For All Fridays. And I gotta get home and get to some work. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you there. Thanks guys.